Alright guys, so if you guys saw the GI live show, you will know that I was actually there live on the spot when uh, Walter, CEO of Airsoft GI, came on the show and pretty much laid it down about, what, you know, more or less kind of like what's to happen with the, you know, Airsoft GI SP199, you know, and, you know, I'll go over it real quick, um, kind of reiterating, but more or less just getting the word out, you know, what to do now, and, you know, what it means for Airsoft and, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, there's also a couple guys uh, in the Airsoft community that have done some really great videos. Um, Jonathan, you know, I, all I have is <laughs> blue tape as well, but uh, both myself and Jonathan, Jonathan's actually done a really good video so far, um, and, but you know, just to help spread the word, you know, putting one out there as well, even though I was also on the live show, and, uh, but yeah, just letting you guys know. So, SP199 passed. Fact. That happened. It's a thing. 2016 um, is when it really comes into effect. You know, it's actually, you know, a miracle that one, we were able to still keep our guns and that, um, you know, there's very much more mitigated uh, coloring to the uh, airsoft guns as well. So it doesn't uh, cause as much issues and because it's going to be tape, you know, you won't have to get completely new parts made and everything like that for the most part. Um, and, you know, like I said, the fact that they pushed it back, like De Leon is the most powerful Democrat in the state. Uh, being it's a democratic state, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, we shouldn't have compromised. And, you know, whenever you can, whenever you have the option to not compromise, you know, always keep fighting. And, you know, we're going to continue to keep fighting. Um, but, you know, it's one of those times where you have to, you know, sometimes the battle ends up cutting even. But you still have the big war is the bigger picture, you know, the big the big objective, the big goal uh, for airsoft to one day be something that's not really harassed by you know politics and stuff like that. So essentially, what we have is you know, Dalyon is the most powerful Democrat in the state, and you know, if Governor Brown wants to get anything done, he needs Dalyon on his side. So he gave Dalyon the win. But Airsoft Safety, Safety Foundation, you know, for us it was just like, you know, what happened? But the, essentially they did everything they could and more or less gave us a way to, I mean, if I was talking to some people, it was in a way like, you know, De Leon didn't, I mean, he didn't get what he initially wanted. And, you know, it was one of those things where you take the lesser of the two evils and you still go on, or you go out in guns blazing and, you, you know, everything just goes down in a sink of ship. So it was one of the two. And, you know, you know like I said, nothing, nothing's pretty, nothing's perfect. But at least we don't have to have, you know, completely, you know, you know everything just bright colored, except for this mag. But this, this mag was actually a training mag made a few years ago by TTS. Uh, but is you know, I have this gun kind of set up to represent what a post SP199 gun looks like. Uh, more, you know, even though the tape is actually a little bit thicker than it actually needs to be, I just, I just took the tape off the roll. Two centimeters of tape on um, stock, grip, and uh, the trigger guard has to be colored. Of course, it only has to be, you know, two out of the three, so you really don't need the stock to do the grip and trigger guard. Uh, if you watch Airsoftology Jonathan's video, he makes the very same suggestion. Very smart man. There's a reason he's the Airsoft Geologist. Um, and then, of course, with the magazine, you know what? I actually have a couple of these just because I think they're kind of cool and they're gimmicky, so this would actually work or be SP199 compliant. But, you know, it's, a lot of people actually tape their mags. Um, you know, I do this for identification, and so when people, like, find this mag, they're like, oh, well, that's, you know, Greg's mag or whatnot. You know, they're, you know, they're not picking up, oh, ooh, new P mag. Like, I know for a fact this one's mine because it's taped, and if they're not, um, you know, if someone finds it, you know, I can actually quickly identify it as mine. I actually taped these up for the mechanics game, too, because we were lending out mags and really wanted to keep track of which ones were mine. So um, that kind of gives you an idea of what SP1 99 uh, compliant gun kind of looks like and you like I said it's lesser of two evils this thing could seriously look like a nerf gun and we'd be out of a job as is famously said so um you know like I said it's lesser of two evils we got I mean, we got a pretty long you know amount of time to fight it change it lobby it up um but like I said airsoft you know it's we don't have as much money as some of the other industries as a whole. We're also a little bit younger too, so you know you're, it's an, it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle, but not one that we're going to give up or take lightly. But the end message is to avoid stuff like this. Do not do not go outside in the public with your airsoft guns. Just you know wave it around, and brand shit like that. I mean Comic Cons and Comic Cons are different. I go to those, but the weapons are all tagged. Um, but you know like just playing and plain view of the uh, public not a good idea always make sure you're, you're transporting your stuff in a gun bag just be smart just be have common sense like, you know, treat, like I said treat it like it's a real weapon so you know you're always gonna you know make sure you transport it in the proper manner and you know 
you get caught it is a hefty fine 10 grand i don't know how many people have 10 grand in their pocket so make sure you guys are responsible you know safety first avoid the problem in the first place or avoid giving you know the guys a chance to put us in a you know between a rock and a hard place so thank you guys for watching this is spartan 117 gw play safe play hard make sure you guys have fun see you guys next time Spartan 117 GW. And make sure you guys check it out. Elite Force BBs. That's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.